Hi, Kevin Tharp here. Uh, we're actually going to start um, putting together a template now and uh, preparing for going forward using that template in the rest of our site. So what I would like you to do is uh, go in and create at the root level of your site, uh, create a folder called includes and create another folder called templates. In the includes folder, what we're going to do is we're going to store the files that contain our reusable content that we're going to include in other pages, such as our header, our footer, uh, our navigation. And in the templates, we're going to save the, the basic HTML that calls all those includes, because as you recall, that template is going to um, call all the reusable content that's going to be used in a number of other pages. You can have multiple templates. That's OK. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll store those templates in here uh, where they're not actually part of your website. So what I would like you to do, what I've done here, is I've gone ahead and I've created just a blank document that I'm going to use as an include. Now, as you recall, because it is an include, it doesn't have to contain the HTML body head tags that are uh, the core part of an HTML document because it's going to be included in a different HTML document uh, later on. So here I've got this. I'm just going to save that into the includes folder because this is going to be my header. So what I've done is just put some, some filler text in here. I happen to put it in an H1. Um, it doesn't really matter at this point what you put in there as long as it's something you can see when you put it together because we're going to later use that um, as an include. So I'm just going to save that as and I'm going to put it in the includes folder and I'm going to call that includes or I'm sorry uh, header.php and you'll notice it shows up over there. Now what I want you to do is the same thing with a file for your navigation and a file for your footer. So I've gone ahead and created those files. Uh, in my footer, I just put some holder text, a copyright 2015 in my name. In the navigation, I just created some initial uh, navigation elements uh, in the form of an ordered list with list items. And in my header, I just have the, the H1 with the holder text. So um, it's not important at this point what content is in those files as much as that you have those files so that you can include them. And then you'll adjust that content later on uh, as you make your way through the process. So I'm just going to go ahead and close those files because I'm not going to be working on them anymore. And what I want to do is I'm going to just create a new document. And I happen to be in Dreamweaver, but uh, it doesn't matter um, what software you're using. Uh, so create a new PHP document, and what we're going to do is we're just going to start this out as um, uh, a blank template. Now, if you know what your site is going to be called or what's something that's going to be common, uh, I always like to put a title in there. Uh, I'm just going to do that for now because uh, that will be unique on each of the different uh, pages that you work on uh, but when you create the pages from this template this is automatically going to come in there so think about whether or not you're going to want a, a common title at least when you first start now remember you're going to want to have a unique title for each page of your site that tells what's going on in that page okay so now uh, what I want to do the first thing I want to do is I want to save this document into the templates folder Uh, so I navigate to that templates folder at my root level and I'm just going to call this template 1.php and you'll notice that it comes into this templates folder so that's going to be available for us to use later on as we go through and want to create pages with that base code so now what we're doing is we're putting together the um, the includes that we do this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, um, a basic structure uh, in in here. So uh, I want to have a header. Um, either inside the header or outside. For now I'm just going to put it outside. Very frequently the uh, navigation is um, housed inside the header but not always. I'm going to create a main section here, even though I'm not going to use an include for main, um, I want to have that available on all my pages automatically. Um, 
And then I want to put in my footer. So I've got all of the basic elements that I'm going to need. I don't have any content in them yet. So now what I want to do is I want to go to, uh, you'll notice in one of the earlier videos, uh, I showed you how to uh, find that um, relative path or the, the server path to your website. So this last part of that site is, or the path to this is always going to include the directory that your um, your website is housed in. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to grab that because I'm going to need that code. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create code to include that header file uh, for the header, the nav file that we put over in the includes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give myself a little room to work here because that's how I like to do things. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the PHP code here. And the closing bracket. And I'm going to do my include, which is include space quotation mark. And then the path that gets me to my uh, directory of the web. So the, the server, the full server path that gets me to um, my directory and then I want to follow it down that path to the file that I want to include. So that's in includes because it's in the includes folder and then header.php. I need to close that quotation mark so that it knows that's the end of that string of that variable uh, or of that path. And then I need to do the semi-close colon because that's the, the format of the PHP command. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save that and I'm going to upload it and make sure that your entire site is uploaded because you need to make sure that these includes are uploaded as well. And then after that, you can go in and you can view your page. And you will see that it now has the, um, the code that was in that header tag. So what you want to do now is you want to go back into this. You want to do the same thing for your nav and for your footer. And then that should include all three of those files. So go ahead and do that code and see what you get. I've gone ahead and added the code for the uh, the header and you'll notice there's that the nav the same code the same PHP include code because it's in the same folder and then the footer so now I go ahead and save that upload it to the server and now when I reload that I should include um, my nav and my uh, footer now you don't see anything in the uh, nav because I called it nav.php, not navigation. So it is uh, obviously it's important to spell everything right. Good lesson there. So if you it's not working the way you want, check to make sure everything is as it should be. Upload it. This time when I come in there and load it, it will include those nav elements. So this is the, the file that's been included with my header. This is the file that's been included with my navigation. And this has been the file that is included with my footer. So if I view that page source, you're not going to see the includes because the page was compiled at the server level and then sent to your browser in order to see it. So all you see is the content of those include files, not the PHP calls to do that. So now that you have this template saved, you can begin to make copies of that in order to use it for your content. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out of that template. And I'm going to replace this index.php, which is currently my home page, with a copy of this template, uh, 1.php. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to copy that or I could open it. You just need to make sure that you don't work in this file. So I'm going to do a file, save as, and I'm going to come out of that templates folder. I'm going to go into index.php and I'm going to save that. In this case, I'm replacing that file. And so what I want to do now, this is my home page. Um, you'll 
you'll see that um, the code is the same. I'm going to go ahead and change that title because it's going to be the same for all of them. And then I'm going to save that, upload it to the server. Now when I go back to my home page, and that's a code, when I go back to my home page, not the templates page, you're going to see that it contains all those elements, but you can tell that it's from the page that I, uh, the index.php that I changed it to because it's got the title up there. And so now what you need to do, you've got the base, you can create uh, an entire site out of this and then just change the content on each of those pages. So, so that's what you need to do. Um, you'll need to, as you go, uh, you'll need to adjust the content in the header, the content in the footer, and the content in the navigation to fit your site. But you do those changes here.